Hey guys, welcome to Man About Cake. I'm your host, Joshua John Russell. And this week, this man is all about dark wedding cakes. Now I love this trend because it's super non-traditional. So we're gonna do a two-tiered squared navy wedding cake and fill it with peanut butter. Let's do it. All right, to start our navy wedding cake, I'm gonna take two eight inch chocolate cakes and break those down. By the way, if you want any of our recipes, you can get them from the eye in the corner in the description box below. We're gonna take the dome off, create our favorite garbage cake. Yeah, no, nothing. <laughs> Is it just crickets? Just crickets. No one in here likes garbage cake, but y'all sure do eat it a lot. <laughs> I'm split it into three. So three layers and let's get two more out of this guy. All right, let's fill them. Since we're doing a non-traditional wedding cake design, I'm gonna do a non-traditional filling. So I've got some of my Swiss meringue buttercream that I folded peanut butter into. I've got some salty pretzels, some peanuts, and a little drizzly chocolate, because we're ridiculous on this show, and I love peanut butter. So if you're allergic to peanut butter, you're not invited. No, I'm kidding, you can totally leave this part out. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> drizzly McGee, just to get a little extra chocolate in there, and then we'll do some pretzels, because why not? And some peanuts for Brandon. Fun to go to a wedding and this be inside of the cake. Super surprise, especially if you're allergic to peanuts. I'm just kidding. I gotta stop with the peanut jokes, I'm just kidding. No, I just mean, you wouldn't expect for a filling to be a little bit adventurous at a wedding. Usually they're pretty traditional. All right, she's filled, so now I'm gonna get her in the fridge and do a crumb coat. Let's go. So now I'm gonna crumb coat the cake, but I'm gonna do it in chocolate buttercream. Time to do the final coat. So now we're gonna make our flowers for the cake. I call them fashion flowers because they're not real flowers. I've learned how to make real sugar flowers. I don't love it. These are flowers I make up on my own. They're like uh, Josh Santhams. <laughs> So I'm rolling out a piece of gum paste. I do have my spacing band so that they're completely even around. And then this is the form that I'm going to put it over. So I just took a piece of floral wire and hot glued a little styrene ball on here. So for my cutter, I'm just gonna use the back end of a large tip. I'm actually gonna thin this out a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna glue it on here with a little bit of piping gel. You're not really covering the whole ball, you're kind of covering half because we're gonna have all the petals that come up here, so you won't see this part at the bottom. We're gonna do a row of three petals and then a row of five, so I'm gonna cut out eight, because that's what five and three are. We do math on this show too. <laughs> Man about math. Nope, that's not me at all. All right, I believe that's eight. Two, four, six, eight. I can count in twos as well. All right, so now we're gonna, oh. Oops. You busted my shot, Brandon. You shot buster. All right, so now I'm just gonna thin these. You really just wanna thin it to one side because the bottom part's just gonna stick around the styrofoam ball, so it really doesn't matter. It's really this top part that you wanna thin because then the petal will look dainty, just like Brandon, our dainty petal of the show. We are gonna dust these flowers later, but just very pale pink, so I'm making them all in white. They're gonna look a little bit like antique. I'm gonna add a little bit of piping gel to the bottom of each. All right, so we're gonna put our first round, and we'll tuck the next one into him. And the last one, finish it out. So I'm gonna pull this a little bit tighter so it closes up a little bit. Looks like a little bud on our flower that doesn't exist in nature. And we have our three on there. We're gonna do our five. And there she is, our fun little fashion flower. All right, now we're also gonna make some leaves and some little fiddleheads. So I'm gonna roll out a piece of gum paste. You can use a cutter for your leaves. I like to cut my leaves out by hand so they're all a little bit different. And these leaves are not gonna be on a wire, so we don't have to roll them over a board. Just roll them out flat. I'll make one so you guys can see. Pop this guy out. Instead of using something to stamp this with to get the leaf impression, I'm gonna make it myself with a Dresden veining tool. So I'm gonna make a, a what do we call that? Vein. I'm gonna make a line down the middle and a little bit of a squiggle, and then I'm gonna make the little branches that come off. Leaf. And then I'll dry this over some crumpled up foil so that it doesn't look like it's been electrocuted. See, that's a little bit of life. 
To make our fiddlehead, it's very easy. I'm just gonna roll out a log of gum paste. I tapered it a little bit towards one end, and then I'm just gonna roll this piece up, and then we'll let it dry like that overnight. Those will kind of stick all in between the flowers and have a little bit more dimension. Okay, now we're gonna cover the cake, but I'm gonna do it in panels because it's a square. So when I do paneled cakes, I like to roll out strips of fondant and then put them in the refrigerator or the freezer to firm up so they're easier to get onto the cake. That looks about good for one side of the panel, so I'm gonna put this on a piece of parchment paper in a sheet pan. We'll get it in the cooler, let it chill, and we'll cut it out. All right, the first panel we're gonna do is the top, so I'm gonna cut an eight inch by eight inch square. It looks like I got a little bit of a lip here. I'm just gonna trim that off. All right, so now we're gonna dust our sugar flowers, our fashion flowers. So I have a couple different colors of pink here. I have a little bit of pearl dust and I have some silver. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of this light pink and just go right into the middle of our flower. We're not gonna cover this whole thing. I just want some highlights. Then we'll do the same thing on some of the petals. Then I'll add a little bit of darker pink in some of these crevices for highlights. And then we'll finish her off with some pearl dust. Because the wedding cake is so dark, I want the flowers to be light, not have a ton of color. Ooh, sparkly. We're gonna do the same idea for the fiddleheads and for the leaves. So for the leaves, we'll dust a little bit on one side in pink, and then I'll grab a little bit of silver for this side. So I made a smaller tier and now we're gonna stack them together. Because I put the pretzels in here though, I'm gonna do it with dowels because the bubble tea straws will have a hard time going through the cake. It's gonna be delicious. All right. Cake is stacked, now it's time to add our sugar flowers and decorate. Our dark wedding cake's complete, and she's ready to walk down the aisle. Thank you guys for joining me on Man About Cake. Don't forget if you want the tools or recipes, you can click the I at the top, or get them from the description box below. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let me know in the comments what you guys wanna see on future episodes. I'm hungry, let's cut her. Mmm, even more beautiful on the inside.